okay, this is going to be a part two about marriages and meeting the right person and making sure that you're connecting yourself with someone to be a lifelong partner in glorifying God. Uh, I'm just going to use myself as an example because God t always tells me to uh, be transparent, you know, uh, uh, share with you not things that I haven't gone through, but things that I have gone through. Uh, I am married, as I have stated, and uh, when I first did get into the marriage, me and my husband both drunk and we smoked weed. Um, we shacked for years before we actually got married. And then finally, I was like, hey, I have another baby, let's do this. And uh, we went head on, he agreed and we got married. But before I knew what I was looking for, I was not, as a woman, prepared for marriage. I was not uh, prepared for Jesus Christ. I did not have a really a relationship with uh, God and just, I, you know, I talked to God, but I, I wasn't the, the woman that I have became now that God is molding me into now. So when I did marry, I just felt like this is the right thing to do. It's better to just take all the wrong that we have done and just, you know, turn from it and make it right. I was doing what I thought was best. And like some of you may do, you may be so quick to gravitate towards a husband or a wife that you just pick like the first choice or the first thing that's offered to you, that's a big mistake. Don't do that. Because when you do that and you get to this place where you are on fire for God, you're living for God, you're trying to let go of all demons, any kind of um, spiritual attacks and just not trying to welcome a lot of things into your, your life. And you have this person that you're connected to that's not there yet. It's going to hold you back. You know, it's going to hold you back big time. It's times where... I would love to have my husband fast with me. I don't even talk to him about fasting. I would probably get on his nerves. It's times where um, he it may be marijuana around in his space. If I wanted to, if I didn't love God and didn't have Jesus, I could relapse and hit a blunt and just repent. You know, because it's just that tempting. It's times where I want to talk about God when I'm not able to talk about God because that's not. A conversation that he wants to talk about all the time. But see, this is a choice that I made. And when I prayed to God about it, he said, you chose this partner. I didn't choose this partner for you. I was nowhere in the midst of it. So therefore, you have to, I can help you to deal with it. And you can decide what you want to do. But you know my standpoint. You know my perspective. You know my view. So I'm just letting y'all know because I'm getting, you know, I, I try to get real, real with people that we have that are coming to the ministry and don't know me and might not know really what I'm about. When I get here and I take out time to come in my shed and possibly get bit by mosquitoes or whatever just to have privacy, it's because I may, I may can't have that within all. So I go out of, I go out of my way to give y'all something that I feel like y'all need to know the truth on. Everything is not perfect. I, I'm not in a um, kingdom uh, marriage. I'm not. I'm going to be honest, you know, but I did it to glorify God and I'm doing the best that I can do. But I did not necessarily, you know, like I said, we were the same when we met because I wasn't there yet. That's why it's so big for you to personally get yourself together, prepare yourself for the bridegroom, prepare yourself for Jesus and get your temple ready so when you are ready to meet a husband or a wife you know what you're looking for you you you're not gonna know until so you have change you're not gonna know so anybody can come and fool you you're not gonna know and then you're gonna settle if you're still the same person and you have not died to yourself and became a new creature so i just wanted to come here and just kind of like you know um really give it to y'all in a way uncut like, don't make a mistake of living your life in a situation that is um, not glorifying God comfortably. Like, we're going to all go through ups and downs. Don't get me wrong. But it's much better to have that husband or that wife that will pray with you, that will fast with you, that will um, do have Bible study with you, that will, you know, um, have a revelation. Sometimes y'all can share the revelation together. It's so much more better to have that experience and I don't have that experience now but I'm looking and trusting and believing in God that one day I will and I just have to stay focused on Jesus and that I made him my everything and it's just what I do to get through but I'm just letting y'all know if you didn't know yeah that's how your sister you know that's the that's the choice that I made so when I tell y'all that I tell you things to help you it's because I don't want you to go through that if I can help you go 
past something or around it or over it, <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. So I love you guys and sorry that I had to make it a little bit longer, but some things cause call for a little bit more explanation than one minute. Amen. Bye-bye.